Hey all, it's finally time to talk more about combat and tome. Just this week I updated the combat experience so that when you're in battle, the description of your surroundings, which is usually anchored at the top of the page, gets replaced by an auto-updating battlefield summary, which makes keeping track of the positions of enemies and teammates much easier. It's even color-coded for quick reference. Also, same type monsters now have unique adjectives so that you can target exactly the enemy you want and more effectively communicate with your teammates to coordinate your tactics. We've got fat zombies, tall zombies, short zombies, fresh zombies, hungry zombies, one-eyed zombies, and more. The bad guys now also have lots of variety in flavor text. When zombies arrive on the battlefield, they don't just appear. They creep out from underneath the shrubbery, stumble out into the street, and generally shamble about. As time passes, they might groan, shriek, or gnaw at their arms because, well, that's what zombies do. Perhaps most importantly, additional bad guys may now arrive late on the battlefield, joining mid-battle. What seems like an easy win may actually become a serious challenge, whether due to just plain bad luck, taking too long to finish your foes, or an outright trap set by the enemy. In the future, some types of monsters which manage to escape after being injured may sound an alarm, prompting more foes to join in. Of course, we have lots more on the to-do list around combat, including many more monster types, tons of new combat maneuvers for players, weapons, armor, and more. Based on feedback, the next home video will probably be about a major client update to add several skinning options so that players who don't like the scroll and table look can go old school terminal style or just simplify to more straight lines and less imagery. If you have any suggestions or opinions, you can leave comments on YouTube, our forums, or our wiki. Thanks for watching and please share with your friends.